Okay, it's playoff quarterfinals against Egg, and it's my second take starting this because I sent myself the wrong team. I sent myself the team I played with him last week, so get rid. Yeah, I, I noticed the horn set was wrong. It's this is definitely not the team versus Egg like, in the playoffs. There's only a few changes though, because the team worked well. Strampa was good. I really liked this spread on Rhyperior, so I kept it. I changed my horns to have Clear Smog, so. With Scarf, Clear Smog, Alchemy won't sweep my whole team. And honestly, most of the rest of the team I changed Bug Buzz to Air Slash, but I believe this team will be enough. I don't have a good answer to Glade, but there is no good answer to Glade, so Scarf Taunter and Rapidash Galar will hopefully do that for me. I was debating making this Choice Scarf Adamant. And I think I might do that. This is 3.30, so... No, I'll keep it this. I will keep it this. I'll just give it a choice scarf. Because I want to outspeed Scarf Glade. And Zen Headbutt goes in against his team, so I just want to outspeed everything. And I want Zen Headbutt. Sadly, this does not outspeed Venusaur and Sun, but... We can hopefully wall that with this Drampar Cloud 9. Very cool setter, so I will be back when we're in the game. Okay, so this is the team we see. We see no Venusaur. That's definitely interesting. We do see the Alchemy, so we can hopefully deal with that with Slash Wave and Clear Smog, just not let it set up. I should re put this into Calc because it will have the Rapidash wrong. All these random teams are just from other leagues and a few I've ladded with on this account, but there's definitely not many of them. And like I think the only one's Yub is one. I've just been trying out for a future league, which will probably be on my channel in a month or two. When Calc loads. And okay, we've got Ancient Path, Charizard, which is good. I believe I have I have I still have Hydro Pump for Golem, but I have Energy Ball on Haunter for it. This Rhyperior set can... It's got a Barrier, it takes a Solar Beam from Charizard in Sun, I believe. I, th I believe that's what I calculated it for. And for that defense, it will still take a hit from Gallade, hopefully. My Drampar's definitely going to be good for Ninetales Charizard. Alchemy can definitely be a problem. I'd like to glare it and then Slash Wave it, hopefully. So, let's re-import the team and hope this went well. Rapidash Galar is Joyce Scarf, yep. Okay. So about a lead. I really do think Nine Tails leads very, very possible. And against a Nine Tails lead, I would lead right period or Drampa. But I don't want a lead that gets taken advantage of by this Galade, which is Charizard's a huge threat, obviously. Galade's a huge threat. I can deal with Alchemy. I won't get swept by it, but I may lose him on to get there. Golem shouldn't be too bad with Scarf Haunter. Golbat eventually should die to Zen Headbutt or Thunderbolt or Rock Blast. So, the leads I'm scared of are just some defensive Ninetales set, possibly a Scarfed Gallade. Let's calc Rapidash Galar versus Ninetales. I believe it should be Spadef, but let's calc for. Let's calc for. Nah, let's calc for. Yeah. Now, I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose Rapid Dash. It's way too bad if I lose Rapid Dash, so. I'm not gonna lead that in case his death. I'm, I'm overthinking this lead. Let's just. I think Haunt is a good lead. Now, let's just need Rampa. I don't like Glade, but. I'll take this. Go with him. Someone I can deal with, but it's not one I have switch-ins to. We could just get Masquerine in, but... This has been banded a lot. Golem... No, I know I know he wants choice banned a lot more, but... Okay, this element... Yeah, I don't want to get boomed on, or Earthquakes, or Stone Edged. That's the music. Um, Glare is nice, but I need Drampa. I'm just gonna go into Masquerade, lose my Sash, unless he goes for like Rock Blast. 
And now he goes for rocks, which is good. I just... I just Hydro Pump. Masquerade. He's so bad at landing Hydro Pumps. This Masquerade has missed so many Hydro Pumps. The only one it hasn't missed is one that's about 6 so. And it actually did work that time. Oh my god, Masquerade, you are useless. Let's just get webs up. Because he's just going to use that out. That's such an annoying start. Alchemy is in, and this is Flame Orb Alchemy. Now, I believe Rapidash deals with its coverage well, but Haunt is definitely, Haunt is definitely here for it, so. Alchemy. Yeah, I think like a defensive combine, kind of. I believe I should just start sludge waving. Now I know Haunt is not bulky, and rocks are definitely gonna limit. <sighs> okay, this is very likely gonna be a defog or a U-turn, but either way, I believe it's best to switch in. Moltres is a good choice. Rhyperial is a good choice. I think Rhyperial. Yeah, defog. And now I threaten. He's probably going to go to Golem, expecting a Rock Blast, because I know that Egg is an aggressive player. But I still think Rock Blast or Stealth Rock's my play, and I'm going to get up Rocks. So I don't mind taking some Toxic Chip if I get some damage on this Gold Bat. 1422. Why did the crit only do that much more? That doesn't seem right. 14 to 22. I guess high roll, low roll. I don't like the fact that it's just toxic. Toxic defog. U turn. I believe Fonta can deal with this, but. I'm just gonna rock blast again as. Okay. Four hits on the other one would have been nice. I believe it's just go haunter. I don't need to take too much toxic damage. Like, what can I do? It can just U turn out. So. I swear I would click Shadow Ball if I had it, but it wasn't worth bringing. Now, Thunderbolt won't be good. I'll oh, just slash wave as it's likely gonna U turn out. Yeah, so that only lets Golem in, which I have to sack him on to. Very, very smart play. Okay, no, 9 tails comes in. But I definitely like Wanta to check Scarf Gallade. But, it's dealt with Alkari. I definitely want to, oh, I've drawn far, of course. And now I get a free Glare. Well, it wasn't free, but... I believe Rapidash could come in, because if this is flame for a Toxic, then... I for an 11 to jump bar. And I there's no, there's no defensive one. Flame for a while, so fire mass. Flame thrower. Flamethrower does 11 to 13. That's music again. Flamethrower did 11.9, so this is definitely special attack. I want to go hard or Imperial, but I'd probably get two hit KO'd at this range. And I don't want too much of my team getting toxic. And I'm not predicting with a glare. But we know it's Flamethrower, so Rapidash can come in. As it comes in. Golem, which this sucks, but I know this is offensive. Though if I can't miss a move, I will. Let's just go with this set because it does seem right, and I do half. I just love Zen Headbutt too much here. I don't want to give any of my mods up, but I believe Rhyperio. As we may not even have to give it up. Oh, I'm very likely slower. And very likely die here. 
Let's go back, came in as I got rocks up, right? No. I got rocks up on his go back. I'm gonna go rocks. This is slow, bulky attacker set, okay? So energy ball should definitely kill this. There's no way this slows this. Yeah, that would have to be Rindo Berry, but we know it's lethal. So now my opponent tries to defog. Nope, they don't. So I just get to click Zen Headbutt, the freest move in the game. Flinch, perfect. No longer the freest move in the game, but still good. That's still good chip on Golbat, and it takes Rock's damage, so. We're in quite good position. Okay, 90 hours, yeah. I... We know this is offensive. And... Yeah. Flamethrower won't kill. But we have Drampa. We still have our Drampa. The best one in the game. And now Golem's dead. I can freely Thunderbolt. You tell him it's Misclick. Eh, he misclicked last game as well, apparently. So, must be bad at doing that. And Golbat should die here. Perfect. Perfect. Now Rock stay up. Now Charizard's half health. Now Ninetales is half health. Now Blade comes in and we have Sack. Ah. Oh. Honestly, my whole team is really good here. I don't want to sack anyone because they all do so much. But. Rapidash guaranteed our speed, but Haunter's best coverage. He predicted last time. I believe it was this exact situation, and he killed my Haunter with a Psycho Cut prediction. I'm the GOAT. I know Flamethrower doesn't do much because it's Cloud9, but we got the burn. <laughs> we got the burn. We predicted by using Ben Shapiro level logic and we were rewarded. Now I believe this dies to whatever I do here. Glade, right? Glade. Let's just put Source on because it won't have bulk whatever set it is. And Haunter Sludge Wave does 45 to 54. <sighs> I'm just gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna do the exact same as last game, and uh, not flare up, Zen Headbutt on his Glade. Last time I killed a Venusaur, this time we'll just do it, KO Nine Tails. And if we do see it was choice, else there would be no switch, but we made the scarf before the game, great switch. The half elf Charizard dies. And that's GG. Now, the first thing I did when I was prepping for this game is I went back and watched the last game I played against Egg. And that's how I knew this would happen. I cannot believe I am that good at the game, but sometimes things happen. You just gotta know your opponent, and I know that Egg made aggressive plays. He made that exact same play, Psycho Cut into my Haunter, then I brought in Rapidash, and he thought I would play rough, and he doubled into Venusaur, not doubled, but switched Venusaur, and Venusaur dies to his own headbutt. Just okay with his Venusaur, and it didn't even come this week, probably because of that. But, as we know our opponent's playstyle, we were able to win, by making aggressive plays like that. <laughs> now that burn was obviously big, although it doesn't actually matter as it turns out, but... Definitely a good one, and I believe we both forgot to link it live. But that's it. That's that means we're gonna repeat this hell forever and lose in semi finals for a third week in a row. See you then.